Company and Steamworks. We've got a new upcoming brewery in the area, but don't forget Carver's, who was the second brewery in the area and the first to serve beer in the state of Colorado. It's going to be an exciting episode. Join me here, Climate Zone Brew, for the Drago Big Brew Off. Hey, we're at Steamworks in Durango, Colorado where the beer is flowing and nuts all over the floor. <laughs> it's nuts. It's a good place to go, good place to hang out, lots of action going on, and we're gonna have some beers right here at Steamworks. And this is a Hello Style Lager. Also, I, I get to say this one has a touch more of hops to it. This one right here is our third eye. It's an English style pale ale, citrus and floral tones. This one's the Conductor Imperial IPA, 9.5% uh, alcohol, citrus and floral tones. Backside stout, chocolate and coffee tones on nitrogen. It took gold at the GABF. And then you have our mole stout. Uh, it's a dessert beer, but it's a, I feel it's a really well balanced uh, mole stout. So when you have a. Mole's are hard to do. Oh, I think so too. And he's done it for a couple years, but this is by far my favorite. It has that touch of like cinnamon and clove, a little bit of anise. And just, it's very it's very smooth for being a dessert beer. This one's. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's a big body, a big, big body. Barrel-aged imperial stout. Um, I was going to touch molasses in it, and then I grabbed you the triple, because um, it sounded like you like big body. Yeah, it okay. sounded like you like big body beer, so. Brew pop number three in one day in Durango, and we're still rolling. Oh, you're too generous. Oh, my. You're too generous. Thank you very much. And one more. We got the taster and they threw in three extras for us for the review. <laughs> All right, we've got the Kolsch. I've been tasting on it. You know, it's nice based on Kolsch. Unfortunately, I don't get enough of that Kolsch yeast flavor. That's what's classic about a Kolsch. You gotta let that shine. It's a light beer, well done. But come on, you gotta let the yeast hang in there because that's what Kolsch is all about. Still a nice, easy drinker. I just let it roll. I'm just gonna let it roll. I'm just gonna let it roll. Thanks. All right, here we are with the hells. Let's let it rip. Because hell, let's do it. Oh, that's nice though. This has got a nice, sweet edge to it. In some ways, this is much a smoother, more balanced beer. It's actually very, very tasty. For you light beer drinkers, the Hells would be a hell of a good beer for a summer day. All right, this is one of their known classic beers. This is the Third Eye IPA. We're gonna give it a whirl. Oh yeah, this is a mild, lightly sweet, nicely balanced, Medium hoppy beer, has some good floral qualities, a little bit of citrus on it. I'm picking up a little bit of other things, like a light, light, light pineapple. Really well made, easy drinker for sure. I can see why this is a popular IPA. Alright, now we've moved on to the Conductor Imperial IPA. You know I like my Imperials. Cheers. Okay, very hoppy. 
I would almost bet that there's a lot of centennial on this beer. I would I would stake that there's centennial on this beer. Big hop, big bitter hop, with light sweet, bit of citrus, a hint of grapefruit. It's a big eight point something, but I tell you what, this is a nice tasting beer. This is a Josh Hoover beer. I'm just telling you now, he'd be loving this one. Yes, I know what hop flavors taste like. All right, this is their classic stout made here. It's won some gold. We're gonna give her a shot. It's on nitro. Now this is on nitro. What a smooth drinker this is. This is a classic nice stout. If you went to a local place, you want an easy drinking smooth stout, this is a real winner, I, I gotta tell you. Cause you got some a light bitterness, you got some good roasted malt on there. But you've got a hint of chocolate, a hint of coffee, very light, mostly the roast, but that uh, nitro smooth creaminess is a big winner for me. I'm loving this one. Holy moly, we got the moly stout here going now. <laughs> These are tough to brew. That's not bad. I gotta tell you, those moly beers can be very tough to get those flavors in because you're trying to get that chocolate and some of those spices and like cinnamon flavors. And they did that. It's a light cinnamon flavor like anise or something on there. And some nice chocolate flavor, but it's a balanced beer. Most mullies are not so well balanced. Wow, this is a fun beer. I really gotta take my hat off on this one. They did an excellent job with the mullet beer. Moving on, we are on the barrel aged stout. Cheers. Alright. This isn't this isn't your standard bourbon barrel. This is some serious like whiskey rye. They did this, I'm gonna just tell you now, I know. This is a rye whiskey that they did this on. And there is, was a lot of, out, these were fresh barrels. There's a lot of whiskey on this barrel. I gotta give this another shot. Holy cow. All right. Say goodbye to all your big roasty flavors and chocolate. Step aside because we got some big anise, so we've got some licorice flavors, but we've got so much interesting influence off the barrels. Wow, and it dries off on the back side. You better be ready for some big barrel, baby, because this has got it. Can you taste the alcohol on that sucker? Oh, I'm having yeah, fun going fun. through this flight. Yeah, yeah. Like, I told him we had a come He was here. not ready for the barrel aged. I, Is that a, like a rye whiskey? I, barrel? It's so strong. I, yeah. I feel the same way about it. I eventually served it to a couple of people. That those, are fresh, those are fresh whiskey. Those are fresh barrels that could have been. It's, it's there. Yeah. It's, it's, a lot it's of, chewy. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, I'm making a hard change from the barrel. We're going to the triple. Look at that. You see it? All right. Cheers, double, triple. Oh man. Reminded you back here. Can I taste the grains on that? This is like, it just came out of a Nash ton and alcohol was dumped on it. This has got a lot of grain flavor on it. I mean, any of you have brewed beer and sipped right off the Nash, I'm getting so much of that flavor. It's amazing how much grain flavor I've got off this. But you get, obviously there's a lot of alcohol presence on the beer as well. There's a nice sweet flavor to it. I'm gonna give it another shot. Wow, real unique. So grainy, so mash-like, so sweet, and lots of alcohol. This is a fun beer. If you like that type of style, man, you gotta be all over this one. a lot of drinking, so give me a half a minute to prepare. Dinner's gonna be good tonight. <laughs> All right, hold that camera stable. Here we go. 
Good. Where's that tripod? <laughs> Get the tripod next time, will you? Okay, rock and roll. We're at Steamworks. This is the real thing. This one's on cask. No, 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 none of the regular stuff. They pump this out, and this is a coconut stout. Oh, yeah, coconut stout, and here we go. What a nice way to end. I mean, it's warmer, it's smooth, it's mellow. It just, it's, it's so easy to drink. You got this nice coconut, this light roast flavor, these nice mild dark malts, and it's so easy drinking at room temperature. My brother might not get to taste this one. I'm just telling you because I'm, I'm loving this one. All right, from Steamworks in Durango, Colorado, cheers. We'll see y'all next time around.